This is Bar Kip, or the Den, in North Ayrshire. This field here at one time had a powder magazine in it, storing safely the explosives used in the nearby mines. In the distance is Mallside House. This is looking towards Little Bar Kip. Here's the biodigester plant, which uh, produces electricity through methane production from farmers' wastes. Here's the old High Swindridge Muir farm. In the background was Rabbi's Well. And this area here is also known as Rabbi's Bray. But it's not known who the Rabbi they're referring to is in that name. Used to be a very industrial landscape here. There was iron ore quarries, there were coal mines, and the railway ran all the way up here, right through where these plantations now are, and stopped just short of the old smithy. That appears to be in the smith's house at the back there, the blacksmith's house, very fine example of it. And the ruins of the smithy itself are just a few low-lying stone walls. This is the smithy stables in Blacksmith House up near Little Bar Kip on the road straight up from Bar Kip or the Den. The road system here was much more complicated once. This was a crossroads down here and a road ran on through various farms to eventually it came to Swindridge Muir itself. In the distance there is Little Bar Kip Moss. It's a, a raised bog, though it has got some uh, conifers planted on a large section of it. And this is the lane running down to Bar Kip, the den. This is a rear view of David's Hill Isolation Hospital, locally known as the Sikhus, now a private dwelling. So much of this land here was the barony of Kersland, hence the name of the, of the school at Bar Kip. Later became part of the estate of the Blair. So that may have ex helped explain the name Bar Kip. Certainly on some of the older maps it's written as Blair Kip.